guys, what's going on? Made it to day two. Here fishing with my buddy Ryan. We are on good old Barcroft. So today, gonna throw a little bit of everything, but my main focus is gonna be fishing swim baits. It's so hot out, these fish are deep and they're suspended. Um, and I'd really like to kind of turn this into a challenge over the 30 day fishing challenge and try to catch a fish if I can get it on the gigantic nine inch bull shad. So I've only fished this once here actually in the winter just to throw it around basically. I threw it for like two hours, didn't have any action on it. The water was like 40 degrees, but we're gonna throw this around a bunch today. A couple other big swim baits that I brought with me and I will throw some more conventional stuff, maybe some jigs, uh, shaky head. I'm gonna throw a scrounger around. I wanna get a couple fish in the boat because I still wanna hit 200 bass this month. And I think that's gonna happen, but we're gonna start off throwing a scrounger around some of these aerators out here on Barcroft, see if we can catch some suspended bass. And what's the goal? What, do we have a goal for the day? Get amongst them. Get amongst them, let's do it. Oh yeah, starting the day off throwing a scrounger with the zoom fluke, sprayed tail action. We're gonna try to catch some suspended baskies. What you going with? Shaky shake. That's the way to do it. Got him? Oh, baby. First cast, dude. Oh, that's a solid one. On the... Oh, did it? Dang. First bite of the day. First cast of the day for Ryan. Trick worm. Did you let it sink all the way to the bottom? Or were you just... Okay. What you doing there? What? Wait, what is that? Is that a bass? It is a bass. Look at that thing. What's he doing? What? That's weird. Look at that. What is he? He's just chilling on top. Hang on. Throw something at him. See if you can catch him. I've, dude, that's really strange. Throw this scrounder right by him. What is he doing? I don't know. It looks like he's struggling. Oh, you know what? That might have... This is a possibility. That might have been that bass that you hooked really deep, and its air air bladder didn't go down yet. Oh, so that's why it's, so, like it's floating. Yeah, it's gonna stay up for a bit until it pressurizes itself to get back down. But that happens a lot, like in a live well. See how it looks like he can't go down? He's trying to kick. Because that looks about the same size, and he does not want anything to eat. But he's perfectly fine. That's insane. Hey, buddy. Yeah, look, watch, he's gonna probably come back up too. That's crazy. I'm assuming that's what it was. Maybe, I don't know why else that fish would just be at the very top of the water column. Obviously, I think he was like stuck up there because he wasn't getting like spooked by us. Yeah. He would have darted out of there. So strange. Yeah. That is a big bait. You can see it like swimming in the air. <laughs> Fish just like Mike Booker. Really fast and on top. People probably like watch me throw this like, what is that dude doing? How cool does that look though? When it's like up a little bit? Yeah. It's insane. It looks super yeah. Wish the water was just a bit cleaner for this stuff. So I'm throwing this giant bull shad on my musky setup actually. So this is a chaos tackle assault stick. It's eight foot six, medium heavy actually. Well, it throws two to eight ounces, two to six ounces. So I guess in the musky world, that's medium heavy. You know what else we could try? We could try fishing shallow because there's always fish shallow too. Like running that shady bank with a frog, to be honest, that might be freaking dope. I have a feeling I'm gonna catch like a four, or five pounder on this thing, just random. Like it's gonna come up and eat it. I can, like use this thing to Every keep my I balance. It sounds ridiculous, I know. So oh, oh, can I get up in there? Will they eat it? Probably a small bass eating something. You know what that makes me think? Frog. We're gonna try out the 
Tekel Sprinker Frog. Never tried one of these. There was like crazy hype about it for a little while. They were on sale, buy one, get one free. So let's give her a go. I know this is supposed to be like buzzed. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Sounds like a whopper plopper. Doesn't it? Okay, I instantly regret this. Cool bait, but it's not what I was looking for right now. This would be good to like run through pads. I need something a little slower. I'm gonna try it. Oh, you got it. Yep. Come here, bud. Big. Chomping on it too. Fish number one for the day, number seven for the 30 days. Not on a big swim bait, but fish needed it. Chomping on that football jig. Oh, there we go. T rig. Boom shakalaka. Pit boss. Oh, yeah. For sure. Nice work. Oh, oh, I just pulled it out of one's mouth. I think that's what it felt like. I just got bit. Oh, has he got it? Yeah, he's got it. Look. Whoop. <laughs> he had it. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. I am stuck. Sorry about that. Falling over. All right, I'm gonna try the Savage Gear Shine Glider. 185. A little bit smaller than the Bull Shad. This thing has an insane like turn to it. Got him. <laughs> On the shine glide. Come here, baby. Stay down. Oh, take it easy. Oh, solid. <laughs> Not bad. First swim bait fish. Sweet. That's a solid like two and a half, two and three quarters. Take it. Shine glide. Sick. Probably like a two and a half pounder on this Savage Gear Shine Glide. It kind of gives me some confidence for throwing the bullshad because it's really not that much bigger. I mean, this bait has a lot more girth to it but definitely gonna keep throwing this around hopefully I can catch something on it I'm gonna continue to throw the shine glide for a while longer and kind of alternate between these two but uh, we also moved shallower too we were fishing those aerators which you'd think every fish in the lake would be around those because it's literally pumping out cold water and deep water probably what 45 feet there Ryan yeah like 30 to 45 feet pumping out cold water, cold enough to where you can feel a significant temperature change on the bottom of the John boat, like on your feet. But we move shallow, fishing shady banks, and the action's picking up a little bit. So hopefully we can get a couple more. All right, we switched it up actually from the Shine Glide. We're gonna try out the S Waver. This one's 168. Pretty similar action, I think. This one might have a wider glide to it. And a shimmer too, kind of side to side deal. I think it'll work. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna work. Oh god. Yeah, it will. Oh god, oh god, I just had one smoke this thing. That's crazy. Just out in the middle? Yeah. Or off this flat a bit. That was so cool. Might not have been very big either. I don't know, I'm gonna get that same cast though. Interesting trick. 
This dude just commented, great video when you use a walking bait on the surface, use chapstick on the first three feet in front of the bait. It makes walking the dog a piece of cake. I wonder why. So we're making it to the other side of the lake right now and I was just reading some comments from the last video. Brad Albrandt commented, when you use a walking bait on the surface, use chapstick on the first three feet in front of the bait. It makes walking the dog a piece of cake. He's got the chapstick. I'm gonna tie on a Sammy or a Gunfish and just try it out and see if it makes any difference. But I think that's a pretty cool tip. We're gonna try it out in probably like 30 or 40 minutes once the sun gets down just a little bit more or we see some surface activity and see if it works. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty cool tip I wanted to share with you guys real quick. Thanks Brad, appreciate it. All right, here we go. I got a frog on this right now. I'm gonna apply some chapstick here. Well, definitely didn't hurt it at all. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. All right, tip approved. Yeah, I mean, that walks pretty darn good. If you wanna walk the dog style bait to walk even easier, put some chapstick right on the line in front of it. It's pretty cool. start working out of here unfortunately so I don't think there's much going on back here seems like they're keyed more to like kind of main lake kind of deal yep. all right let's fire it up what's going on battery's dead <laughs> the battery's not actually dead so I'm just going on with the trolling motor but we are heading over back towards the ramp to do a little bit more fishing, but I think the battery is donezo, so we're calling for help because we are barely moving and we still have a ways to get back, so that's where this one's gonna have to end off. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, for sure, man. Appreciate Anytime. it. We'll get back out again on this 30-day challenge for sure. Caught some fish on the swim bait, had a good time. You caught a fish on the Texas rig, missed one on the shaky. Deep water summer fish, hard to catch. We'll see you in a bit. All right, day number two is in the books. We are finished up. We caught two fish today, so that brings our total count to eight. We're a long way off of 200, but I'm still feeling really good about it. I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna happen. It was a fun day. We started late. You know, I threw that big bullshit around for probably an hour and a half of the four hours that we were out there. I did catch a fish on the Shine Glide. That's my first ever, like, decent swim bait fish. I've caught one on a Gantrell. I just remembered, um, but so I guess that's technically my second decent swim bait fish. Huge thanks to Ryan for taking me out on Barcroft. We had a great time. It's always fun getting out there. Thanks to you guys who bought one of the SB fishing shirts. Make sure that if you're interested in one of those, you go click that link in the description below. Gonna be selling these just for the month of July. We still have some of our other merch up there as well. Jigs all day hoodies and a couple other shirts up there. But the one we're selling for just July is pretty sick. It's got a really cool logo on there, the John Boat and SB Fishing logo, and all of that's gonna go straight back into the channel. So, tomorrow I am getting up, I say tomorrow, it's like tomorrow's today. It's 1.26 a.m. on Monday. I'm gonna wake up in about three hours. We're gonna go down south and fish for some absolute donkeys, so. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with the action of the 30-day fishing challenge. We'll see you tomorrow.